Hello, my name is Rosemary Blash and I am the director of Daystar Arising Academy and I also blog at blashlearning.net. I wanted to share um, uh, some information with you concerning um, some online sources of income. I found Cambly through, uh, through Pinterest actually um, and I have seen several different online uh, programs and jobs, um, some of which are legitimate, some are not, some, you know, you may go through a series of questions and maybe you don't qualify for that particular job or that particular survey, which takes up some time. But I wanted to share this with you because it is something that it is um, I've been doing for about a month and um, have really enjoyed doing. It's very simple, um, legitimate, safe, and it is uh, being able to help non-English speakers um, learn English. And this is through Cambly, C-A-M-B-L-Y. And um, uh, you can go to cambly.com and um, you know, do some more research on it, but my experience has been very positive. Um, you will not get rich doing Cambly, but it is a nice way to have a little extra income. It averages out to about $10 an hour, maybe a little bit more of um, tutoring, basically online. Um, students from all over the world will find you through Cambly and you'll be able to have a conversation. They may have specific things they want to work on. There are different tests that a lot of the um, people around the world will need to take in order to, uh, for example, apply for a particular um, position um, or go to college in the United States. There's the TOEFL, there is the, um, the IELTS, um, that a lot of students will say they are studying for and you can be of help to them. The One of the things that I really enjoy is being able to meet people from around the world and get to know their culture and be of help to them. Um, there are um, lots of people that actually are on Cambly as tutors and they range from being educators, licensed educators, to stay-at-home moms. So you don't necessarily have to have a license, um, but you, you do, you should have some experience helping someone learn something. This is um, how you build your profile. This is actually uh, a still of a video that I created. They do set it up where included in your profile is an introductory video where you're just introducing yourself very short um, and it you know you just share a little bit about yourself and why you are a tutor on Cambly and what you hope to how you hope to be of help and then there's another video that you'll do which will showcase how you teach so the students can really get an idea of um, what you're like they can get a sense of if they think you'll be able to help them. So you're putting your profile out there um, and you are sharing yourself and uh, folks will come on and uh, uh, you know will, they can spend anywhere from five minutes usually the five minutes is a free trial of up to two hours. So uh, that's the the part of the video that you know introduces that I that I created to introduce myself and I'm gonna scroll down here I'm not sure if you can see that very well but um, the rest of the profile is set up so that you can uh, tell what you teach what how what languages you speak um, your tutoring style what you specialize in um, and then here you can just share what you do, you enjoy discussing because a lot of people will come on Cambly and they just want to practice their English. This is a great way for um, someone from Saudi Arabia to hop on and talk to a native English speaker without having to travel um, to you know Canada or to the UK or to the United States. They may not be able to do that at this point, but they can still hop on the internet and talk with someone um, and it's it's very there um, it, it's again just a great way to to meet new people and 
it's a good way for that person seeking the information to hear what English should, should sound like. They have an opportunity to ask questions and I'll show you a little bit later some of the specific worksheets and lessons that you can actually pull up and um, work with them. Um, so just a little bit more about the um, the uh, the profile I'm just sharing with them that I can help someone that's just beginning or basic or if they're conversational or an intermediate um, uh, speaker I can add value to them I can help them I can answer questions you know just by virtue of me being a native English speaker I can tell them things and then I can pull on some of my um, knowledge as an educator as well so I share with them that I that I am a teacher I'm a licensed teacher 20 years of experience in the classroom and uh, there are other profiles that are much more extensive so you can add what you like mine is not very fleshed out at all um, in comparison to some others so I can go back and I can add some things but it has not hurt me even though this is rather brief it hasn't hurt me in terms of being able to go um, on and actually have people hop on and um, uh, you know spend some time with me where I'm tutoring them so that's the profile and um, I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, more about Cambly. This is where the students, what the students would see, um, and they're able to, as I mentioned, um, reserve time. And depending on the, the where they are in the world is what's going to determine the price. But and they also advertise. Um, uh, packages as well they can get in a group um, or they their Cambly may have a sale um, so it's I think it's a very good way for people to be able to practice um, English and really learn specific things about English without necessarily having to travel and that's one thing that a lot of people have said that um, a lot of the students have said they've not you know they don't have friends near them that they're able to um, speak and uh, speak English with and practice. So they they do showcase the um, tutors that are available. The green dots mean that they are available. So if you were a student wanting to um, hop on and find someone to talk with, you could go to the uh, uh, this area here, available tutors, and you would be able to uh, look at their profile. There's also a search area here. A lot of people, I've, as I mentioned, I've only been on for about a month, but already I've had people to come back and maybe they were looking specifically for me, which is kind of cool because, you know, you you actually develop um, friendships, even though you, you may be struggling to actually understand each other. I've had um, several people, you know, actually look for me, look for my name. And um, then, you know, when they see that I'm on there and I'm available, they can click on uh, the call button and... I will answer the call and we will begin chatting. Sometimes people will come, as I mentioned, with a specific um, request. They may come to you with a conversation that they want to go through uh, and that helps them with, in, particularly, uh, in particular, the I, I let's um, test. Um, so that's a way that, you know, they're, they're bringing you what they want to do and you can always ask them if they are if there's something specific that they want to practice or a specific question they have or they may just want uh, um, you know the conversation so there again this is how the uh, online the available tutors are shown and then the red here indicates that they are busy so these folks are not available so that just gives you a little bit of an idea. They do suggest that you uh, provide a picture. Um, it helps a lot of times with you know the online world. It's good to have a picture just so you can get an idea of what this person looks like, and you can kind of um, tell you know this is somebody, or they may they may sense eh, this is somebody that I really want to um, uh, get to know and meet and and, they, and and see if they can help me um, with English. So if I go into my history, I can show you that, um, oh, this is not my history. Um, 
this is what the students would see. So, um, and whatever topics they, they would have discussed, uh, they can make reservations. Uh, I, can, I can send them a link and uh, if they're interested to in make a re reservation with me, then that link will help them. They can click on the link and make a re reservation. And I also am able to, and I'll show you that how I set up my own um, schedule so they can see when I'm going to be on. Um, they review the tutors uh, the, that have that they've worked with and um, Cambly it's very nice because Cambly if if a tutor gets a bad review Cambly will go back and kind of investigate why that review was because it may be somebody who's just um, you know um, not being very nice for whatever reason and they are um, wanting to give you a bad review well they'll they will filter those bad reviews out sometimes it is an internet connection so someone may want to give you a bad review for the internet connection and that's not your fault <laughs> so Cambly filters that out for you they also do get free minutes um, I believe that they can also get an additional set of free minutes if they do a review on Facebook um, and then this is one of the, the tests that they can actually pull information or materials on and it ranges from, you know, greetings, um, how you greet someone in English, um, phrases uh, um, that are common in English. Um, so that's something, again, that they can come to you with, or you have access, and I'll show you the library um, that you would have access to. So I'm going to see if I can um, go to... Um, Go to my actual page and show you a little bit about. I'll come back to that. But you're able to choose if you want to set up priority hours. So you see here, this actually uh, popped up as available. So I clicked on it and I booked myself for Thursday, October 5th. When I book myself for that time, I need to be online and available. You may not have someone come on right away. You may be waiting 10, 15 minutes. But the nice thing is you can be working on something else while you're waiting for a, a student or a, um, a someone to come on needing your help. And um, if they are, if they, even if they're doing the five minutes, Cambly will pay you for 15 minutes. Um, so they're guaranteeing you 15 minutes um, and I can show you what let's see if I can show you um, some time that is so these are times that I actually completed and these are some more of my booked times and I'm just wondering here. Sometimes they do not um, have a lot of time available because people do come on and they, they um, grab those booked, booked times. This is another view of my schedule. So you can see where I'm booked. And um, usually if there is a, <clears throat> excuse me, if there is a time that is available Excuse me, and it may be that it's a um, a peak hour, and um, they may need someone to claim that time, and that could range from you know any time in the afternoon to uh, early in the morning. I've done a few of those, so it does not look like right now there's actually opened open times, but even though there's no time that's actually looks like it's open and they need someone to claim an hour you can still hop on cambly and um just wait for someone to come on and need your help um that's how i started i didn't start by even booking time um they do like for you if you're going to commit to the time they do like for you to be there if you need to um 
cancel or unbook your time, what you need to do is try and do that uh, at least 12 hours ahead. If you do it closer in, they uh, Cambly may restrict your ability to um, claim time, but um, that is uh, it is possible because things do happen and you may not be able to make the time. And they would rather you uh, unbook your time open it up so somebody else can use the time rather than just not show up um, that'll they'll your rating will be um, deemed or decrease um, if you if they see that you are repeatedly uh, you know not there when you're saying you're going to be there um, but I really have to say I, I've enjoyed working with Cambly because it is uh, you know it's it's easy uh, there are most of the people that I that I've talked with they are wonderful they're very hard working they're working hard at learning English you do have the ability if, if I can um, if there is a, uh, a problem and someone is not being very cooperative or maybe they're just being maybe they're just being flat up inappropriate you can um, uh, ban them and then Cambly will you know they won't be able to come on at least your uh, they won't be able to come to you um, if uh, um, if you click the ban button and I've only had that happen one time um, the, there there are times where there was one time when they um, uh, I came on and there were some gentlemen eating uh, and they weren't interested in learning English they were really just kind of you know making fun and so they were you know, like well here eat I'm on you know the other side of the world on the computer and they're offering me <clears throat> so I just kind of laughed that off I didn't it wasn't worth getting upset about at all so I can show you uh, if I go to the um, reservation area you can see where I have a reservation um, uh, someone has scheduled a reservation with me so I'll be sure to be on and if you need to if you 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 they can ask for the time but if it doesn't work for you you can um, either confirm or cancel or you know you can always send them a note saying that you, know, you need to adjust the time as well so even though you're um, you know they're asking for that specific time if you need to make, make it an hour later you can communicate with that person through Cambly everything is safe and secure you're not um, giving your personal information everything goes through Cambly they also have I think a pretty um, cool library it's got um, a lot of material that you can make yourself uh, you know take advantage of uh, conversation let's see let's just go to beginning here so I can go to any of these um, areas here conversation about planning for the weekend your hotel hometown your family so they give lots of suggestions that will help you to um, actually uh, have a conversation because sometimes after you've talked for a while you may run out of things to say but there's also backup um, I can click this little box here well, let's see, this is not one that I've done before but if I click that that should take me to some information that I can use to have a conversation about family. So, let's see if I can adjust that for you. There's a dialogue here. You and the 2T can split up the dialogue and um, go through, have a conversation, and then they've highlighted vocabulary words that you can elaborate on and there's also specific definitions down at the bottom so it's a great way and there's another little exercise that you can use as well this can live in your library also I'll see if I can go back and um, So there's lots of different things that you can actually take advantage of. So if I go to 
I just clicked on my library and I'm going to click here where it says add more. And I'm in the conversation starters area and this is actually an excellent lesson here that I, I have uploaded into my library. So when someone pops on, I'll actually have access to that. I can also send this link to someone who's interested in doing more uh, practice with tongue twisters, which is a great resource for um, folks that are learning English to have. This I haven't done uh, using ED endings. So that should have popped into my to my library and there is using ED endings so as I said when someone pops on there'll be a screen that um, will allow us to, to see each other and off to the left I will have these materials that I can click and bring up those documents that I showed you earlier so and um, I also want to show you they have a pretty extensive tutor guide lots and lots of information um, that you can uh, you can use this preview chat it gives you a little bit of an idea of what the, um, the chat actually looks like this is um, the band button it doesn't look quite it looks a little bit different but you know if you've got someone who's being uh, inappropriate you can click ban and it will um, and up here it says ban student um, they what Cambly does is they've empowered you to um, ban a user if they're being inappropriate offensive behavior um, and uh, they even give you a guideline a good rule of thumb to ask yourself is what I want this user speaking to another tutor on Cambly once banned the user will be removed from Cambly completely and will no longer be able to call or message you or any other tutor banning offensive users help keep Cambly a safe place to teach and learn English I really appreciate the ability to ban if I need to um, you really you want it to be a safe place when you're done with your conversation you can click in conversation will take you back to your home area and you can wait for another student uh, to hop on and there's my picture down at the bottom there a live session will have this area where you can actually type in um, you know, I can type in a word and then it'll, it, the, the person on the other side will see. So whoever I'm talking to, they will see that word and it works where if I've got someone from Portugal, um, I, they, they will see the word in Portuguese. So we're able to actually work through um, learning each other's language. And they're they're actually able to communicate with me and sometimes people will hop on and, and they won't have have much English at all which is fine if you really can't communicate you can just politely you know wave and, and um, tell them goodbye but you can also use the chat or um, send a text mess message and talk back and forth and they you can uh, communicate so again that was something that I just thought was um, very where you can refer others I've shared this with uh, I've shared Cambly with a few other people that I know were interested in um, just you know doing something for a little extra money so I can put their email in and um, uh, click share and they will receive an email that they can use to sign up and I'll get credit for that and after so many hours I think it's 10 hours then they'll credit me my account um, with a few extra dollars um, for Cambly and uh, you can also go through um, 
Facebook and Twitter, which I have not done, but that's another option. Um, so it says you get paid twenty dollars for every referral who tutors at least ten priority hours on Cambling. Um, and they also have a support button where, again, you can ask lots of questions. They have um, articles on just about everything. Um, how to uh, get into the group, um, what's a good tutor profile, so they'll tell you what would be good for you to include in your pro profile, um, students may hang up on you, what do you, you know, did you do something wrong, uh, and I've always just felt very um, supported through the articles, and if I had a question, you can actually ask a question as well. So. That is a little bit of a rundown of Cambly. I um, wanted just to share that with you in case you are looking for something, you know, to earn a few extra dollars. They go through PayPal, so um, I, I spend um, maybe, you know, just a few hours a week. Um, and every Monday I can look forward to between 70 and 80 dollars being you know dumped into my PayPal account so that's something you know definitely not going to become rich but it is a way to have something that is legitimate and it's a, um, I think this is a fairly new app <clears throat> um, but I think that a lot of people have um, have used it and have really found it very useful and again it's a great way to meet other people and also earn a little bit of money so thank you for listening um, let me know uh, if this is something that you might be interested in please use my uh, referral link and um, I will you know get the uh, referral um, fee if you do use the link um, and I will put that information uh, underneath this video thanks again and I hope to see you on Cambly